Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Esther and this channel is dedicated to beauty, skincare, and shenanigans. <laughs> and today's video is gonna be me trying some e-girl makeup. Yes, e-girl makeup. I'm obsessed with the blush that it brings, so I'm ready to try this look. I have no idea what I'm creating yet. It always starts off like this. Either the best end of it, like you're so prepared, like you got the Pinterest pictures ready and everything, or you don't know, but it still ends up really spicy. But before we get started, if you're still one of those people who have not subscribed, subscribe, please. And let's get started. Let's get into the primer. Today I'm going to be using MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base Moisturizing Primer. Focus on how good this smells and how cool it feels. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the foundation first i know what kind of crime is this i don't know but people people love to do that and i'm like no that's not me how about we color correct first so i'm gonna be using revolution conceal and correct color correcting concealer in the shade orange so i'm just gonna put some around my mouth because this is the area that's craving it and i'll also put some under my eye We're gonna have to make a straight brow, and I've never done a straight brow, so I'm really scared about that. So, let's hope I'm not gonna look like a Star Trek character, and I think you know which one I'm talking about. I think you know. I don't know why, but the way this brush is built, it reminds me of Kitty Paws, because it's like the same size. If you got a cat and you're like, no it's not, feel free to call me out in the comment section, and I'll be like, I'll take it back. I never had a cat. I mean, I remember when I was younger, I used to go to the mosque. They had multiple cats. So there, I was like chasing the kitties all day because I wanted to take one home because my parents said I'm going to get a puppy. They didn't get me a puppy. So I was like, I want me a cat. Now, I'm going to do the foundation like someone said I need to do it. And I'm like, ah. I became not a foundation person. Like if I need to, I fill in the gaps. Recently, I've been doing a lot of soap brow and everything. I love the look. I think it looks natural and it just enhances your beautiful brows i have not done it in a long while without the soap so we're gonna try with the product and let's see how it goes okay shall we shall we i don't know how to do a straight brow guys how do i do this i'm gonna brush it this way i'm gonna be using one of my eyeshadow palettes to draw these brow hairs to fill in for the arch i'm gonna be using the morphe 350 palette it looks very nasty and it's lit has broken up and your business is but I'm telling you anyway, just no judging, no judging. So these, it looks like this. I'm gonna go in with the black shade. I thought I can draw the brow strokes with my Kohol pencil, which is Rimmel London Soft Kohol Casual Eyeliner Pencil. Got this from Amazon because you go... was trying to avoid going to the city center. I swear, I'm telling you, it's so weird. Some people in the city center are really weird and they scare me. So I started ordering online. This straight brow trend will be easier to do for people who have hair but also don't towards the end because it's easier to make a straight brow like that. I was actually aiming at getting maybe Benefit um, or maybe Anastasia de Brow. Can you guys give me suggestions in the comment section what do you use please because I have no clue and I would really like to know. That looks disgusting. Ew. I feel like back in the days when people had like literally uh, the thinnest brows of all and did it with a black pencil like Why was the arch so aggressive? Like they woke up and they chose violence. They chose violence y'all. They're not regretting their decision. Oh, Ooh, girl, girl with the brows you love the house. <laughs> For concealer, I'm gonna use the usual Elego Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the shade Toffee. I know, if you're screaming at your screen right now, yes, to your brows. <laughs> you know what? I would totally understand that. I've not done this in a while with the actual product. I like to use this brush sometimes for the eyes because I don't like the small applicators. I just want to be like, Dana. 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 that's it. Why are we still talking about it? I'm gonna be using, I really like Man Eater, so I'm gonna use Man Eater from my Huda Beauty Texture Shadows palette. Let's try to blend this shade out to the edges. I blend it out very softly, I don't press it 
when I, the product is already on there. So you can even use a clean brush to do it. The shade I talked about is called Flamingo and it's this bright pink color. And we're gonna try to use this around the outer edges to soften it. Pray for me that this won't do crazy. Oh, no it won't. No it won't, sis. That looks pretty. I like it a lot. I hope it shows on camera how I see it. Because you're gonna be like, what is she blending in? She's blending the air in her skin. I would really like to darken the base. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Bossy. I want to make up for the fact that oh, I don't really have a glitter shade. So we're gonna go in with this center color. Oh my god, guys, this looks beautiful. Okay, guys, I've done my eyeshadow, so now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe palettes shade. This one. The shade is not called this one, but I want to say shade, and I realized it doesn't have shade names. This is the part usually where I make up for the fact that I put it way too high up on my brows. Let's get the eyeliner popping, shall we? And I'm gonna go in with the Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner in the shade Black. Pray for me guys that I don't mess this up. This is such a nice eye look and I don't wanna... Watch this. Now that the eyeliner is done, we're gonna do the under eye concealer. We're gonna put concealer under the eyes and also in this area that I mentioned before. So I'm gonna put some in my inner corner and in my outer because I've seen this TikTok hack and it works guys so whatever meanwhile we're waiting for this to dry down I like to do the contour because usually it's the concealer that cleans it up so for contour I'm gonna be using L'Oreal Paris Infatable More Than Concealer in a large shade Espresso 344 guys my food is about to be ready and I'm fasting so if I'm if I appear like I'm rushing it it's because I probably am <laughs> But hopefully it's still an enjoyable video. If you're enjoying it so far, please press uh, a like button because show your appreciation. Huh? There's some of those people who beat the hell out of their face. Because I feel like, <laughs> I don't know, for some reason I feel like it blends it out better. But I know it doesn't, but it feels like it. I'm gonna do the under eye now with the eyeshadow to reflect what's on the top. Okay, and I also want to put a very... like a very bright highlight in my inner corner so I'm gonna go in with this shade of gold the one that's about to run out yes I'm living for this look so far can you believe how it's gonna look after we add um, the mascara the lips and the blush <sighs> oh I don't know if you can take the heat let's do the eyelashes I'm gonna be using the this is actually a new mascara I got finally I'm stepping out of my box guys not the same one so I'm using Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara in the shade Very Black. It looks like this, just so you can see it. And honestly guys, it's not kidding, length, it's giving you the length that you always wanted. Hi guys, so I'm back after having iftar and breaking my fast. So now I'm much more energized and I don't have to watch the video. So where did I left off? We've done the contour, we've done the concealer. We're gonna do the blush! <laughs> the essential part of being an ego is the blush, blush, blush. So for blush, I'm not gonna use blush. What I've been doing recently is I've been using this coral lipstick by Rimmel London. It's in the shade Litty 610. So this is how it looks like. I think I'm, oh my god, this is how much I have left from this lipstick. That's how you can tell I'm using it a lot. So I'm just gonna put some here and I'm gonna blend it out with my finger because the Beauty Blender I feel like sometimes takes it away to a place which is unknown to me. I have no idea where it's taking it. And I feel like with, when I'm doing it with my finger, it's much more effective. Just spread it as far as you can, but honestly, I love doing this blushed up look <laughs> so this is the blush done so now let's get the highlight popping and we're gonna be using this shade for the highlight after 
to the highlight i'm gonna draw a heart on my cheek so why not let's experiment guys let's experiment so i'm gonna go back in with the same eyeliner that i've used on my eyes the collection fast rock eyeliner in the shade black i also highlighted some of my beauty marks with um the eyeliner and i've got two hearts resting on my face so time to get into the life today because so what i want to do is cover my lips with concealer first because I think I'm gonna go for a gradient kind of lip. I just need the perimeter to be in a way. So we can blend it out. I'm gonna put the coral shade. I'm gonna experiment. I'm gonna put the coral shade that I showed you before from uh, Rimmel London on the outer perimeter and we'll see how it goes. And now I'm gonna use a lipstick from Avon. Avon lipsticks are so damn good. I'm telling you, it can last so long. Um, I'm gonna use the Avon lipstick that's called Ravishing Rose. And it looks like this. I'm gonna put it on the innermost part. I really wanna darken it though. How can I take it to the next level? I'm gonna use my lip crayon from Primark, uh, which is a velvet matte lipstick crayon, and it's in the shade wine. On the inside, I really wanna darken the inner. You know what? I'm gonna fix this because I don't think the crochet will make part of the good gradient lip so i'm gonna wipe it off just around the edges i'm gonna put this in the outer right there i decided to also put black eyeshadow in the inside i don't know why trying to get inspired guys now i'm gonna put lip gloss over it i'm gonna use the beauty forever london lip gel and it's a crystal vanilla one um, honestly, just basic AF uh, clear gloss. So I'm gonna use it with my finger because I don't like it when the applicator gets the shade of the lipstick. And now that the makeup look is finished, I'm just gonna set it with a setting spray. And I'm gonna let my hair out. This, ladies and gentlemen, are, is our finished look. Let me give you a close-up look. The lips, I love the gradient look a lot. It looks so good. And it's so nicely blended out around the edges. It feels like, I don't know, I feel like a doll. It looks beautiful. And this just proves to you makeup is a big game, a big experimenting game, and you can do whatever the hell you want. And you can fix it, there's always a way of going back. Well, most of the times. <laughs> I really love the hearts as well under here. It looks really cute. Um, oh, hold on, let me get more seriousness on. But yeah, this is the makeup look. I hope you guys like it. I'm living for it. I'm gonna do more of these gradient lips because I really love the look. But at the same time, because we're in a time of Corona, no one is gonna see your lips because you wear anything you bought. On outdoor gatherings, when you're meeting your friends outdoors, this is a look. A lick honey so sorry for the terrible blur that was there i really apologize i thought i'll re-record my outro because my outro looked blurry as hell this is the finished look look at the greeting lip it looks so cute i've drawn some hearts and yeah i would say this is the finished look i will show you just a close-up of how it looks If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, comment down below to talk to your sister. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!